let's go to something that's uh, very, very well directed, but I don't think either of us would ever call a good film then. <laughs> yeah, I've just listened to your slot with uh, with Julia talking about exactly you, this, yeah, so I know what I'm in you, for. I, I quite liked her... her <laughs> yeah. So Lucy in the Sky, which is a new film directed by Noah Hawley, who most people know of as a name because he brought us the Fargo TV series. Right, yeah. And that X-Men spin-off show for FX, Legion, starring oh, Dan yeah. Stevens, yeah. who's in this film as Natalie yes. Portman's husband. Yes. With the naffiest moustache you've ever seen. Yes. There's a very uh, no, you know early 60s style uh, well, to this film Well, the time well. frame on this is not, is not mm. unless you know your, your NASA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is not really something that I couldn't tell when this was set. So this is loosely based on true events involving uh, uh, Lucy Novak, I think her name was, who's right. the astronaut who went up on Discovery in 2006, came back to Earth, had some mental health issues, and suffice it to say, she was eventually arrested for kidnapping a fellow female astronaut and stalking and threatening a male astronaut with whom she was having an extramarital affair. Although she, like, extramarital in the film, I think she was divorced in reality. She's played here as Lucy Cola, which is a far more normal name for a human being, obviously. Yeah. Played by Natalie Portman, who's doing this Jodie Foster accent. Yep. Has this uh, Mary Tyler Moore haircut. Yep. Has never been in better shape. Goes up to space, does the full gravity moment where she's staring at the Earth, takes it all in, realises we are all but stardust. Comes back down to Earth, can't quite acclimatise or rebuild any kind of connections with people. Her marriage is unsustainable. And, uh, yeah, she ain't having a great time of it. You know how it is. You go up there, you see everything. The whole universe. And everything here looks so small. We're so small. And then you splash down, what, you go to Applebee's, you know, Monday Night Football, clip your toenails, and all you can think about is, when can I go back? Do you know what? I didn't even bother to research who the real Lucy was. <laughs> really? I, I, I actually felt like leaving this film early. I. Everyone did. Yeah. I don't think anyone enjoyed right. this. I'll confess, I left oh. early. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even notice. You are like a Thanks. ninja in a screening yeah. room. Perfect. No, I, it was not for the reasons necessarily of the movie that I left <laughs> early, but I did have to like step out a little bit because I just, the idea, the concept of it should be engaging. Mm-hmm. I think if you're into space, you want to see more space in this movie. There is that. Um, yeah. I think Natalie Portman played it well, but, oh, you mean... Ugh, the, the film is boring. It is, It isn't has it? nothing to it. Yeah. It has no kind of ability of lifting those key issues that you mentioned, the mental health, yeah. you know, all this spiralling out of control. It takes you nowhere. Here's the interesting thing, right? Th there is a documented uh, track record of people who have walked on the moon having breakdowns, substance abuse problems and mental health issues after the fact. So the actual core concept of this film yeah. does have its its grounding in reality. Obviously, it says it's based on true events. It's based on more true events than we actually, a greater number of true events than we think. Um, like you say, though, it's ponderous navel-gazing bilge. It's it's just it's just so. Uh, I mean, it wants to be lofty. In yeah. actuality, it's just rambly. There's I, no characters. Uh, in yeah, it. Well, that's the thing. Like the erratic behaviour mm. would be better if it was more erratic to yeah, give you exactly. something yeah. within this movie. I felt like it plodded along, yeah. just slow and steady, and never went anywhere. Yeah. I thought Dan Stevens was good as this kind of almost cookie cutter husband yeah. in it, which you know would infuriate anyone. Let's <laughs> let's go there though, because there is a great supporting cast here. Yeah. John Ham, uh, in, in, playing the slime ball that he's so good at, really. Uh, yeah. Or is he? Uh, Zazie Beats, yeah. uh, uh, Jeffrey Donovan from Burn Notice. I'm a big fan of Burn Notice, like him in there. Uh, Tig Nataro, I was, I'm quite happy to see her turn up in a drama as well. Nick Offerman. I, I, do you know what? I just don't know how they all bought into this. Like, I, I don't know what the pitch was to these actors to say. This Oscar is... Bait, Noah Hawley, that's what it was. Yeah, but that's look, have you seen any marketing for this? Absolutely not, because mm, as soon sorry. as I'm sure the first focus screenings were out for this, Everyone was like, what, what is this? It was intended as a festival baby and it just got absolutely slammed. I will say it looks pretty. 
You know, it just visually looks pretty. Yeah. There's a bit of an over reliance on bird's eye view shots to the extent that I genuinely thought that I was watching like an HD port <laughs> or HD reissue of, of the old GTA yeah. game from 1999. You know, the old top down yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's great. The film isn't. Uh, it's rubbish. Avoid it. It wants to be interstellar, but that would be a waste of a pun. And yeah. no. Just oh. that goes on too long. It's only about two hours five or something. Oh, well, yeah. And you see why people felt left. every minute of it. I just, yeah, and I had just come out of watching Motherless Brooklyn immediately before, mm. and that was two and a half hours long, and that flew. <laughs> Comparatively, it, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is that for me, if a film doesn't grip you from the beginning, it doesn't matter how many times the beautiful face of Natalie Portman stares down at Earth, I don't really care. Exactly.